This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now at Nebenes Supercharger, and today we're gonna test some uh, range test. Uh, and it's the Model Y, but with 19 inch wheels. So, you know, I call it barely legal because ben, then I wasn't sure whether these wheels are legal or not. But I got an answer from my police friend. He could verify that these wheels are 100% legal in Norway because they are within the specification. So, I can show you what it looks like now. Huh? Do you like this shit? Do you like this shit? <laughs> so, I kind of like these rims because it brings out the calipers more. So the only type you can get now from Tesla is the 21 inch uber heavy turbine wheels. But now we have the PH, no, it's called PH edition 2. But um, I'm gonna show you now. So it has the ET, uh, oh, how much is it? Was, the ET uh, setting is correct also. Um, I'm gonna say it's, we have Falcon, Asenis, FK520. Um, I tried the Falcon on the Model 3 and I was super impressed with how it performs. So let me show you here, we have 255, 45, 19, and then in the back, I don't remember how it was, 255, 45, 19. okay, okay, so not staggered, all right? So um, that means we have unoriginal rims. Uh, you better not have any problems with the rims now, <laughs> just kidding. But, but um, these ones, at least they look less aerodynamic than the uber uh, heavy turbine wheels and then I don't know about the rolling resistance and all that so I will do several tests with this uh, today it's all about the range test and then other t t days I will test um, acceleration braking and noise and then we we'll see what other tests I want to do or what you guys want to see maybe if these are good I can do the only fans run with this huh so um, yes um my could be okay so what we're going to do is measure consumption. We already know the battery capacity. I actually didn't bring scan my tester today. Normally I would bring it, but I'm sw switching between so many cars nowadays. But we don't need it. So uh, the battery should be nice and cold. It's been parked in the, at the airport over one day. Or uh, yeah, 28. So I'm, I can just guess that the battery should be at around 30 degrees Celsius, which is perfect. So now we will do the 90 test. We drive up there and back again to measure, measure the consumption. And then afterwards we do the 120 test. Ah, oh, I just noticed. You see the protection film is still here. Uh, much because purpose it didn't remove it. This is a, a brand new Model Y. Not the same Model Y performance from Giga, Giga Berlin I tried before. So he just want to swap it. And then he purposely kept this one because he said he wanted to see me. Oh, shit. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, it feels so much better now. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, okay, let's stop digging around. Let's go. We are on the moon now. We have to cruise the 92 on the speed though. Let me see how is mirrors. Wow, perfect driving condition. No wind for the wind. And then outside, 27 degrees Celsius. I wonder if it's too hot now because the HVAC needs to run harder. Uh, I have a theory that around roughly 20, 21 degrees Celsius is optimal. Uh, unless maybe the car is equipped with some uh, heat rejective uh, uh, coating from factory or aftermarket. But this one doesn't have it. But, well actually, did Marcus tint the rear? Yeah, maybe he tinted the rear. I'm not sure. But okay, so if you look here, trip meter uh, 131 watt hour per kilometer right now but we have downhill so um, uh, with the 21 inch original uh, uber heavy wheels uh, it's supposed to be uh, 146 hmm okay can we actually go better at 90 we shall see listen it sounds kind of noisy now in the tunnel and we're only doing 90 kilometers per hour but you want to know how noisy it really is <laughs> yeah, that's proper noise right there. So we have double glazed windows in the front and the rear. You know, we have kind of rough asphalt over here and I get the impression that the noise level with the 19 inch is not that much better than the 21 inch. And it could be because of the tires, because I suspect that the, well, I mean, I've seen it. 
the, the Pirelli P0 tires, it has this uh, acoustic uh, symbol on it, which probably means that it has the acoustic foam in it, and maybe these Falcon tires don't have them. That could be the difference. Uh, so I guess eventually when I do the noise test, I'll find out if my uh, uh, predictions are true or not. But uh, yeah, so at least, okay, you won't get better noise unless you use, of course, 19 inch uh, Pirelli P0 or uh, um, Michelin Pilot Sport, uh, whatever they're called, with the acoustic foam. But for now, at least, the gain is probably only in comfort. So, um, and maybe in consumption, but I have my doubts because from what I've seen, Tesla's uh, original tires, they tend, tend to be more efficient than all these uh, third-party non-original ones. We are back at the starting point and according to Google, it's supposed to be 62 kilometers. Now this one uh, is kind of tricky because they removed decimals, but when it ticked up to 62 kilometers, just right before I stopped, it's actually 61.5 or 61.6. So uh, there could be also in correction in Google, but it seems like this car might even slightly under report, but at least it's very, very correct distance. That means that the consumption here is correct, 145. And with the nine, and with the 21 inch uh, wheels, it was 146. So is it just because of weather? I'm not sure, but it seems to be neck on neck in at least 90 tests, but let's see 120 tests. That one is interesting because because of more turbulence, uh, maybe we have worse results. Now, one small problem right now is that we have so many left lane huggers today. So I don't know if we can get a clean run or not. Okay, off we go again. This time we have to cruise 122. So uh, for you guys who are wondering, the tire pressure is 3.1 and 3.2 bars. Well, actually the right, there is a bit, little bit under pressure even, but uh, these are supposed to be uh, 2.9 bars coal. And when it's heated up, then 3.1 is perfectly fine. So we aren't cheating on anything. Uh, even <laughs> actually the rear right might be a little bit, uh, we have a slight disadvantage there. It should be 3.2 bars, so I should have checked that. But you know, over here we have roughly one year old asphalt, so it's fairly smooth. And I guess as long as the, the, the surface is not too rough, then the noise level is not too bad. So I guess it depends where you live. If you live in Netherlands and France, you will have very smooth ass over there versus Norway, then you have rough ass. So it depends, you know, what do you prefer? Do you prefer rough ass or smooth ass? I'm not sure, I think I prefer the last one but here I can show the difference the transition between smooth ass and rough ass wait wait no no wait wait yeah well that wasn't too bad hmm all right the first half is almost done now so we will turn around at Espa see we went this route and it was clean no one in front of us for now so that's good so far ooh 204 ooh all right, all right, all right. Okay, let's turn around here at Espa. Um, I guess this is not optimal because we have a Tesla in front of us driving slightly faster now. So I might be getting a little bit of draft from him. Um, and also we were stuck behind a dude with a trailer and had to overtake a whole bunch of trucks. So uh, I guess on the return now, it's not going to be a clean run, but um, you said, oh, shit. Okay, more slow pokes. Oh man, what, huh? It's almost eight in the afternoon. I mean, it was almost eight in the evening now. I guess this is just summer traffic. Oh, here we go. Okay, this messes up my test because we only have a 66 kilometer, oh no, a 62, what the, what the? Dude, because we have just a short uh, sprint and uh, a low uh, section like this will kind of, make a big uh, impact on the on the 62 kilometer test so i guess i could compensate by going a little bit faster yeah let's do that and then we also get past this tesla all right we're back at the starting point 197 watt per kilometer whoa so if we compare it to the previous run now you see that um at the 90 test it was almost identical and then at the 120 test it was uh, actually even better but this kind of makes sense because in theory, when the temperature is higher, you have lower air density in general, and then you have lower drag. So 
I think if it was a similar temperature, let's say about the 18, 19 degrees Celsius today, then the consumption should be higher. So, um, but at least right now, uh, it seems like these rims, they don't give any uh, or too big disadvantage. So uh, I'm not sure, uh, we don't have the same weather. I can't control the weather, but uh, it means that um, if you go for these 19 inch wheels, uh, rims, tire combo, then it uh, seems like you don't uh, have to compromise on consumption or maybe not that much. It might be a little bit, maybe five watt hour per kilometer difference, but in terms of range, probably no difference. So yes, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.